lights there are few things that you need to consider before buying grow lights so it's important to understand few terms about lights let's get straight into it photosynthetically active radiation par this is the range of light mostly used by plants for photosynthesis which is in between 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers all light colors can be identified with a specific wavelength it doesn't mean that plants don't use light below 400 nanometers and after 700 nanometers they do use them but in small quantities to keep it simple par is like food and wavelength between 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers is their favorite food photosynthetic photon flux ppf is the amount of light being produced per second by the lighting system photosynthetic photon flux density ppfd ppfd is the number of photons falling in an area it is measured in micromoles per square meter per second this is like calories for plants they use it for energy you will see the test result of 1000 watt grow light placed in 2 by 2 grow tent at different heights in the first pic the ppfd reading is of 1000 watt light placed at distance of 12 inches is and an average 672 now the same light when placed at 14 inches will have an average of 580 and when moved further its average decreases to 355 the most important thing to note here is that light is more intense in the center and it keeps decreasing as we move outwards we have a solution for this watch till the end of the video now let's see difference between par ppf and ppfd par is the light most used by the plants ppf is amount of light emitted by the lighting source and ppfd is the amount of photons that hit one square meter energy flow this is simple illustration of energy flow for better understanding do you really need grow lights that depends on the direction of your balcony or window or growing space because amount of sunlight will depend on the sun path based on seasons and hemisphere as you all know sun rises in the east and sets in the west so for growers in india which lies in northern hemisphere south facing windows or balcony will have most amount of direct sunlight whereas north facing windows will provide very little direct sunlight west facing windows or balcony will receive less direct sunlight compared to south the opposite is applicable for southern hemisphere so you need to check the direction of your balcony with compass and decide the growing space role of different colors in plant growth red and blue light is mostly responsible for photosynthesis but other lights in par range are also useful do you know that plant bends towards blue wavelength of light well blue wavelength promotes the growth of green leaves and it increases the growth rate of plants but can you grow plants only under blue light answer is no red light helps in promoting flowering and fruiting development recent study shows that you can grow with 70 to 90% of red light but does not mean you can grow only under red light if you grow under only red light they will have stretched and elongated appearance the leaves will be long and thin and plants will be weak and tall so it's not right to grow plants under only under red light it should be accompanied by blue light and other colors within par range for better results how much light do i need sufficient light is very important to grow healthy plants so there are three factors that you need to consider before choosing a light what type of plant do you wish to grow wedge or flowering number of plants you can plan to grow in growing space calculate the wattage requirement there is no thumb rule here but it is advised to use minimum 20 watt per square feet and maximum of 25 watts per square feet for growing veggies and minimum 40 watts to 60 watts per square meter if you are growing flowering plants like tomatoes peppers etc for example we have a growing area of 3 by 3 that is 9 square feet we have nine plants grow area into 40 or you can select grow area into 60 watt light so 9 into 40 will get 360 watts so if we are going for 60 watts we have to choose 540 watts so we have grow lights of about 500 watts spread across so if i was growing veggies then i would need 
9 into 20 or 9 into 25 which will come under 180 watts to 225 watts. If you are using minimum wattage then keep the distance between plants and lights to minimum but not less than 6 inches. One of the most important factor that you need to check is PPFD. You can use Photon app to check the readings. Though app is not 100% accurate and results will vary based on device. Higher version device will have more accurate reading. Photoperiodism. Basically, photoperiodism means the reaction of plants to the length of light and dark period. Plants use light to track time. They can tell the time of the day and time of year by sensing and various wavelengths of sunlight. There are three different categories, long day plants, short day plants and day neutral plants. Long day plants flower when light period is longer than minimum requirement. If the light period in these plants is interrupted by the dark period, flowering is inhibited. So continuous length of light is very critical. Some examples include hibiscus, potato, radish, spinach, passion fruit, banana, apple, etc. Short day plants flower when the dark period is longer than the minimum requirement. If the dark period in these plants is interrupted by a flash of light for a few minutes, then flowering will be affected. So, continuous length of light is very critical. Some examples include onion, strawberry, pineapple, etc. Day neutral plants can flower in any port of period. They begin to flower at certain stage of development or response to environmental stimuli. Some examples include tomato, cucumber, peas, papaya, guava, etc. Distance of light from plants. It is very important to keep adequate distance between plants and light source. This is because some lights produce lot of heat. Even an LED light produces some amount of heat. So maintaining proper distance helps to ensure healthy plant growth. Please note that distance will vary depending on wattage of your lights, the type of the plant and amount of ambient light. You can refer to the light requirement section and decide the height from below table as per your understanding. There is no official rule but you can place seedlings at 4 to 6 inches from light source. Veggies and herbs at 6 to 12 inches. Flowering and house plants at 6 to 12 inches and foliage house plants at 12 to 24 inches. Move up your light regularly as they grow. Placing plants too close to the light can cause leaf tip burn like this. So maintain proper distance between as advised to have a healthy growing plant. Professional growers use different types of lights based on plant type and plant stage. We will give you few suggestions based on plant type. Number 1. Leafy Greens If you are growing leafy greens like lettuce, spinach, coriander, mint etc. then a 6500K full spectrum LED light or cool white light will sufficient. Here are few options online that have given us good results. You can buy them from the link in the description. Fruiting Flowering Plants If you are growing plants like tomato, cucumber, peppers, eggplant etc. Then you can choose a cool white flood light and red flood light like this one or you can choose these full spectrum LED lights. They cost pretty high though we can opt for the one we have made. These ones will cost you less and give you good results as you can see for our pepper plants.